Welcome to the Raven Space on YouTube. My name is Jason, and this is Raven Space Mailbag, where we answer your questions about the Baltimore Ravens. We'll hop right in. First, I want to say please subscribe to the Raven Space on YouTube if you're not subscribed. Also, please follow us on different social media channels, like this video, and uh, we'll hop right in. The first question comes from Travis, and Travis asks, how do you think the Ravens stack up against our AFC North rivals? Thank you so much for your question, Travis. And right now, I think we're number two. Um, I think that right now, still, the Steelers are more skilled than us, uh, only due to the wide receiver, running back, and quarterback combination they have. Um, it's important for us to be objective and see that uh, they potentially have three Hall of Famers um, playing on their offense at three of the most important offensive uh, places. Uh, ben Roethlisberger, you know, is Ben Roethlisberger. Um, Antonio Brown is one of the most electric receivers I've seen in a while. And Le'Veon Bell, in my opinion, is the best running back in the league. So um, in order for the Ravens to combat that, they have to play great defense, which is why they stacked up on it. Um, I do think they have to score some points as well. So we have to hope Joe Flacco can lead us past the Steelers. Um, I still think we're better than the Bengals, even though I think the Bengals had a great draft. Um, However, I do think that Andy Dalton is limited. And in order to be, you know, one of the great teams, you have to have a good quarterback. I think the defense is regressing over there in Cincinnati. And I just don't think they're as good as they were two years ago, where they were arguably one of the best teams in the AFC. So um, I just don't think they, they still have the juice. AJ Green shows that he's injury prone. Now, maybe it'd be different with uh, John Ross on the other side to help him out a little bit, but I just don't think that as a whole, they're better than the Ravens. And then last, you got the Browns. Um, the Browns are trying. I just don't think they're good. They are putting the right pieces together. I do like Hugh Jackson. I just don't think they're ready. Um, they'd probably be, you know, a mess for another three years, you know, or so. So we'll see. But right now, if I had to say who was the best teams in the AFC North, based on talent alone now things can happen injuries can happen um something Bashar Perriman could be the best receiver in the AFC North you never know when the season goes along but right now I have Steelers at the first uh, spot the Ravens at number two the Bengals at number three and then I have at the very end the Cleveland Browns so thank you so much for your question Travis and you guys if you don't agree with me let me know why I put in the comments below and we'll move on to the next question and the next question comes from Keith, and Keith says, Last season, when we knew we were out of the playoff race, do you think we should have intentionally tanked the rest of the season so that we could have a better draft pick? Ravens may have drafted a wide receiver and then been able to build up O-line with the cap space. Thank you so much for your question, Keith. Um, and for this question, I would say no. I don't think uh, intentionally tanking an NFL works. Um, I think the NFL because there's so many people that take a part of it, it's harder to do. Um, and the NBA, one player can change your team. Like literally the best team in the East is always gonna be the team that has LeBron James. And you always have a chance because of that. But in the NFL, just cause you have the best player, doesn't mean that you will always, you know, be a championship team, especially a young player, again, the NBA, a young player can come in and make your team a playoff team. That's just not the case um, in the NFL. You have to think that, you know, people thought that Andrew Luck was going to be, uh, you know, the next Joe Montana, but Andrew Luck hasn't had his team in the playoffs for two years. One was injury uh, injury year, so you can understand that, but the other one was not. He just wasn't as good as the Texans because they had a great defense. So in the NFL, so many parts that intentionally losing is tough to uh, do because again you never know about the draft if the players are good at number one and also you have to remember that there's so many pieces to make a Super Bowl team it's not just the quarterback there's so many different recipes to get there right even last year you had the Cowboys who were a great running team and they use that uh, the Packers use uh, Aaron Rodgers the Steelers use offense uh, you have teams like the Texans, they use defense. So there's so many different ways to do it. Tanking for one player on a 53-man roster isn't feasible, especially when you have things like uh, coaches in the NFL 
that a good coach is worth more in the NFL than it is in basketball. So there's a lot of different things like that. So again, um, having one player isn't really worth that much. Even one great receiver won't make the Ravens, you know, the best team in the AFC because the Patriots have the best coach, the best quarterback, the best defense. Like, it's so much they have. So, you know, you have to look at it that way. One player can't really push you uh, into the elite status. It takes a whole team to do that. Thank you so much for your question, Keith. Uh, and we'll go to the next one. And the next question is from Brian. And it's a great question. And Brian asks, what was the issue with the Ravens running game last season? Thank you so much, Brian. And there were two or three main issues I saw with the running game. One, the Ravens running game is just not as talented as a whole. So the O-line is not as talented and the running backs were not as talented as we know when we had Justin Forsett where we had a great O-line opening up holes and a running back that could find the holes. Or when we had Ray Rice when he was great, when we had a, a dynamic running back. We just don't have that right now. Um, not yet. They can grow into that, but right now, last season, they were not that. So that was the first problem. Second problem was scheme and coaching. The scheme did not help the running game. So first and foremost, Marty Morningwig didn't want to run the ball. And we saw that he did not give the running backs a chance. Even if the running back got a good rhythm, there was one game where Terrence West was popping off four yards a carry, and which is great. And you want to keep on giving him the ball because then he'll break a big one. But they just stopped. They just, they just stopped. And that happened several times during the season. So you, you see that. Another thing is that, uh, Marty Morningwig, for some reason, didn't want to stretch the ball or use play action passes. And so when you have slants, what happens is that the safeties come up. And when the safeties come up, it's hard to run. So it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy where it's hard to run. The safeties come up. And so it's even harder to run. And that just doesn't help the run game at all. And on top of that, I just thought that the scheme was not fitting for the team. All that stuff together, um, I just thought that the Ravens just weren't schemed up right and the talent wasn't there. It was a tough year. Now, this year, you know, bringing on Roman, I think that the scheme will be right. And hopefully after a year and adding Danny Woodhead, there'll be some way for the Ravens running backs to improve and become great running backs in their own right. So I'm excited about that. But those are the two main issues that the talent wasn't there and also just the scheme wasn't right for the Ravens in the running game last year. Thank you so much for your question, Brian. And we'll move on to the last question of the day. And the last question comes from Vince. And it is my favorite question of the week. And it asks, I feel Dean Pease is never talked about in the media. How good do you think he is as a coordinator? Um, and when you get into questions like these, there's some coordinators that are the top of their class. Um, for defense, for example, you have Wade Phillips, who is one of the great coordinators, maybe the best defensive coordinator in the game. Um, and right now, I would say that Dean Pease may be one of the top five defensive coordinators in the game right now. Um, and the Ravens really did get lucky with Dean Pease because he's at the age where he's too old for teams to take a chance on him to be a head coach. Um, but he's so good that you would love to have him as your defensive coordinator for the rest of time, right? And and we really saw this in the fact that Dean Pease in the last couple of years, you know, had a terrible, terrible secondary. Not last year, but the two years before that and three years before that. Um, and even in the Super Bowl run. And the secondary was so, so bad. And what happened is that they built and they built and they built and Dean P schemed the defense to be successful. There was one game in Pittsburgh where Terrell Suggs caught the ball between his legs and the play call on that play was cr so crazy. The way they lined up, I've never seen anything like it before. And Dean Pease does that a lot. Um, again, I think he coached up Ladarius Webb. I don't think Ladarius Webb is that good. I think he made Ladarius Webb better. I think Zach Orr is not that good. I think he made Zach Orr better. Um, I think Jimmy Smith is okay. I think he makes Jimmy Smith great. I, I, I really like him as a defensive coordinator. I think he's one of the best defensive coordinators the Baltimore Ravens ever had. I mean, you know, the top of the class is Rex Ryan. Rex Ryan's a savant at defense, but Dean Pease is close behind him. Um, I don't, I can't rank it for you right now, uh, but 
I would say there might be two or three better defensive coordinators, in my opinion, than Dean Pease. But Dean Pease is top of the class. And you can tell because the Baltimore Ravens defense last year was great. Um, and the only reason that they had stumbles is because a key piece of the defense got injured last year. And so, again, I think Dean Pease will be great this year. We'll see. You know, now he has all the talent that he's ever wanted. So I think he has a chance to put up a, a scary defense. But again, I think Dean Pease is a great coordinator. And you guys, please let me know in the comments below how do you think Dean Pease is as a coordinator. I'll be super interested in finding out that question from you guys. And thank you so much for your question, Vince. And that's the last question of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the Raven Space YouTube channel. Uh, you know, like it, follow us on our different social media. Check out our Patreon page. Um, it's super awesome. Thank you guys so much. Go Raven.